Hi, I hope this is going to work. This is my first time trying to make like a real video with the real camera. So I wanted to do a post about how I get my wardrobe ready for the week. So every day I don't come to my closet and go, oh my God, I don't know what to wear, I have nothing to wear, blah, blah, blah. And um, this is just what I do most weeks. Some weeks the weekends are just so crazy and I don't even get this done. But on a good week, this is what I do. So first let me show you my closet a little bit. This is my section of this season's clothes. Back there are some um, you know, autumn and winter clothes and like things I still want to shoot for eBay. And on this side, I'm sorry to have my back to you so much. On this side is mainly shoes, head scarves, hats, more shoes. But this is the side that I actually work with. And the way I organize my closet is probably a little different than a lot of people. I used to like it to be color corded, co corded, coded, color coded. Is that right? Color coded. Like starting with whites and creams and like pink and like yellow and red and purple and blue and green and black like that because it looked really pretty. Um, and I thought I dressed by color, but I find I don't really dress by color. I really dress this way and I'll show you. This first section, and this is this is still summer. I haven't switched my winter stuff. This is my entire summer wardrobe, minus um, the leggings I'm wearing, a dress that's in the wash, and a pair of uh, skinny jeans that I really don't wear very much in the summer. Especially this year, I just wanted everything to be really easy for myself. So I did splurge and I bought extra dresses so that I had two weeks worth of work clothes and. I didn't have to worry about it. A dress was easy. In the summer, it's hot. Most days, I didn't even wear anything over it. So it was very easy. Um, so this year is a little different than most years would be, but, but the principles are the same. So this section right here is dresses. This section is things that need other things to go over them. This section is things that can stand alone with nothing over them. This section is things that go over other things, like cardigans and um, little jackets and shackets and button-down blouses that I would only wear over something else. It's like the standalones are things that mostly have sleeves, they're not sheer, and they fit well, so I don't need to like feel like I have to hide anything. The things that go under other things are sleeveless. Um, and I don't mind being sleeveless anymore. I don't mind showing my flat arms to the world. If they don't like it, that's their problem. But at work, in the off, you know, I work in, an, in a front office of a school. I don't really feel it's that appropriate under the most dire of circumstances. Like I'm really dying from the heat. And then I'll take my over thing off for a few minutes till I cool down and then I'll put it back on. But honestly, my office is so cool in the summer with the air conditioning that I can usually wear a sleeveless with a cardigan over it and I'm comfortable anyway. So. Um, this is things that need things over them, and dresses are sort of a combination of both. Uh, but the dress, especially in the summer for me, is sort of the main piece. So that's usually where I start my selection. So that's how I categorize. And then within each of those categories, I try loosely to color code. So as I'm putting on the blue dress, well, really anything would go with the blue dress. But there's some dresses that I would pick out and go, okay, only a certain color that I know I own is going to go with this. So the color coding helps a little bit then. So here's what I do. Each week as I wear an item, at the end of the day when I take it off, I hang it back up and I do that annoying backwards hanger thing. You probably can't see that, but I just turn the hanger hook the other way so it's backwards so I can quickly look and see what I wore last week because I'm not going to wear that again this week, a main item. I might wear a thing that goes over a thing two weeks in a row. I might even wear that two times in a week because I never have enough things that go over other things. So that's sort of a focus of my shopping for this autumn is to get more things that go over things because that's what really makes a wardrobe more um, I can't think of the word. Larger with fewer items. Anyway, so here's what I'll do. These all I wore all in the past week and a half because I honestly have more than 10 things probably right now. So for this coming week, I'll go first to the things that have the 
the right way hangers. And so my first thing I pick up is this dress. So I haven't worn this dress in two weeks. Now I already know that the only thing I currently own that really looks good over this, and since it's fall, even though it's 70 at the high in the day, it's still very cool in the morning, and it's a little cooler when I leave in the afternoon. So while I, I might wear this uh, during the summer with nothing over it, this time of year it does need something over it. And I know that the only thing in my closet right now is the fine knit Old Navy flat cardigan. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put them together. They stay on their two hangers. And I just put it like that. And because if I've never put this combination together, I want to see what it looks like. And I go, yep, that looks good. My favorite thing about this combination, not just the the colors look really good together. The sort of gray, bl gray blue looks really good with the black. I love that they're almost exactly the same length. That's my favorite dress to cardigan length ratio. Um, I know we all used to wear those like flyaway lightweight cardigans that came to like here, and that those are still great to me with jeans. But when I have a longer dress, I'm never happy when I wear that combination. So. Over the past year or two, I've been trying to get more and more like duster length cardigans and not keep buying shorter cardigans that I know I'm going to wear over dress. Okay, so this is outfit number one. Um, now, I don't have a lot of shoes, so I don't have a lot of shoe selection, especially this year um, with the cancer treatments. The chemo gave me very bad neuropathy in my feet which even though I've been done with the treatments for six weeks now, my feet are still really bad. So there aren't a lot of shoes that I can wear and I'm not like in just in misery almost immediately in the day. So I mostly wear my white Superga sneakers with little um, arch inserts in them because they're a very flat bottom. Because <clears throat> one of the things with the neuropathy is your feet feel sort of funny on the bottom. Like, you know, if you put a bottle of water in the freezer, and it freezes, and the bottom gets sort of convex. <laughs> I always forget convex to concave. The bottom gets rounded on the bottom, and then you sit it on the counter, and it just falls over. That's what my feet are like. So I never go, I mean, I know you probably can't see my feet right now, but I just put, took my foot out of my slipper, and I'm standing with my bare foot on the floor, and it just feels so weird. It's like this spot is solidly on the floor, this spot is solidly on the floor, but the other spots are not. So if I'm walking, especially if it's uneven, it's very bizarre. So back to, I don't really have to think about what shoes I'm gonna wear. I'm either gonna wear my white Supergas that I wear almost every day. If it feels like a better foot day, I might wear my little black flats at this point. So I don't really take shoes into consideration this right now, but the thing I do have to do, take into consideration still is headwear. Um, I still have just barely, I have like five o'clock shadow and I'm starting to get a little peach fuzz like growing here and here. Probably nothing that anyone else would notice, but because I stare at it intently in the mirror every day, I notice it. Um, but I'm going to be having things on my head for a long time yet. So I, I have to, in addition to picking up my outfits, then I have to go through this side of the closet and pick out a scarf or a hat or whatever's going to go right with this outfit. But you guys don't need to see that because it's probably not part of your life. All right, so there's outfit number one. And I'm going to need five. Now, this next dress I'm pulling up, this is very summery. So <clears throat> I did look at the weather ahead of time, which is something I also do. Um, and I saw there's going to be some 70 highs of 70 during the week. So I can actually do this. Um, but it definitely needs something over it. This dress is a little more of a challenge for me this time of year because I don't have a lot of things that look good over it. The only thing I like over it really is a navy and a black. My lamp broke in here a week and a half ago. I just dropped it off at the lamp store yesterday, so it's very dark in here. Um, I have a navy cardigan that color-wise goes, but do you see what I mean with the length? I don't, I don't like that at all, but it's sort of a weird time of year. It's too warm yet to really be pulling out my um, warm autumn sweaters. So I still sort of have to go with transitional pieces. Unfortunately, this just doesn't have a good transitional thing. Um, I'm gonna put it in the rotation for next week, 
but I may go to something else. So that's number two. Oh, oh, I forgot. Never mind. <laughs> Take the navy thing back off. I forgot. I had already put this outfit together for this past week, but then for whatever reason I didn't wear it. So I don't mind it with this little white sweater. I don't mind like a cropped, I don't mind something very short over a dress, and I like something very long. It's that sort of right, right around the middle of your butt. I don't like that length. So I'll look at the weather again for the warmest day this week, and that's the day I'll wear this outfit, definitely with the white spurgas. Okay, so that's number two. Now we have, now we're going into the, I've worn these within the past two, two and a half weeks. So I haven't worn these things in a while, which is good. So the first is the black and white stripe um, old navy dress. And these are great dresses. I bought three of them this year. I want a black and white, a red and white, and the red and white is a little different. It's a right, wide red with a narrow white um, and a royal blue and white. And the royal blue and white is the same kind of stripe as this. And I prefer this kind of stripe. Um, the only thing is they're very stretchy, so they're easy to wear, they're loose, they're a little long, and when I took them to my cleaners, I mean they were only like $24.99 each. When I took them to my dry cleaners, that's a very reasonably priced dry cleaner for the area, um, and asked them how much to hem them, and they only need like maybe that much, they were $20 a piece. But I never would have spent $45 for these dresses, because they're just little like stretchy jersey knit dresses. So I'm never that happy when I wear them. And in fact, the red and white one, because that's my least favorite, will probably go out of rotation for the next year. And I might just, I might just hem this one. This is my favorite one. So that's enough. Of that. Anyway, so for black and white, I have many more options. I could do flax linen, but I'll talk about this piece when I get to it. Um, I have another oatmeal linen. I already know what my favorite thing to wear with this is. The problem is I like this item over several things. So if I wear it over this, I can't wear it with anything else this week. But I really like this. Look, I've worn it three times. I haven't taken the tag off yet. I'm, I have commitment issues. So I'm going to wear and put this olive. So I like that. And again, because this is jackety, I don't mind that it's not as long. I can cinch in the waist a little bit with the ties. <clears throat> and then... Um, it gives you a little bit of shape at the waist, so I don't mind that it's shorter because it's more of a, you know, it's really short. It's short enough to be, okay. So that's my number three outfit. And depending on the weather, I can even wear my little black booties with this if it's cool, or the white superbus or the black flats. Those are pretty much my only options. So that's outfit number three. Um, let's see. I just wore this this week. So this I did not wear this week. Again, this is very summery, and the problem here is I usually wear it with the little white crochet sweater that I just put with the with this. So let's see. With this I can wear this. This is a sweater that oh, I have to turn this around. I bought a couple years ago. It's it's such a good color. It goes with so many things, but it's that short length again, and it's starting to look um, very just hilly and old and worn. So I might replace that this year, probably in the spring, because for the winter, I have this almost the identical color, just a little different. Um, it's more of a silky rayon knit, so it's not like cozy. It's sort of cool, but it is long, so it's good for the winter. Um, it's like just a leg. So there will be number... Four, four, moving right along here. And then, so now as I'm coming down to the fewer things, I have to consider, do I have a thing left to put over it? I can't just grab anything because some of my favorite things to wear over things are already over things. So I haven't worn this in a while. I really like this in the autumn. And I know that I could put this over it. Even though it's not my favorite to put lighter things over darker things. That's just a thing for me. I know I can't, I really prefer this with the black duster over it, but that's already going with something. And I couldn't, I can't swap this for that. So, um, so that's number five. I might wear, I have some chestnut brown flats that I might wear with this if it's a good foot day, because they look nice. So there's my one. 
two, three, four, five outfits for the upcoming week. Um, like I said, I'll just look at the weather. And, you know, some items are better for warmer days. Some items, oh, this is best for the coolest day. Also, how my feet feel, kind of where the shoes that go with that. And, um, and there you go. If, and in the evenings, I just wear leggings <laughs> and sneakers or one or two different pairs of jeans and sneakers. And I have, you know, two, three, four different tops to wear with them. But so that's, that is how I, before Monday, like I try to do this by Sunday, and I try to do this during the day while it's still light in the room, I pick out all my outfits for the week. So in the morning, when I want to stay in bed for five or 45 extra minutes, I can because I know I already have my outfit picked out and I don't have to spend time with that. So this was my first real vlog. I hope it was okay. I hope you guys can hear me. If not, I'll do a voiceover. Um, I heard a lot of focusing going on with the camera, so things may not be that well in focus. And I apologize. I'll have to figure out how to get that better. I'm sure it didn't help because it's so dark in here. Um, so that's the first one. I'm going to try and do some sort of how-to or instructional or something like that video for every week in addition to the um, outfit posts and week in review. I'm trying to up the game a little bit here. So bear with me if this is if bear with me because this will be very amateurish and I don't know how to edit so I'm probably going to spend the rest of today trying to edit this thing and I think that is it thanks so much for watching if you liked it if you want to see more please give it a thumbs up and even subscribe um, I'm going to try today to make a fashion schlub YouTube account the camera just got very quiet like it died or something so I hope I'm not talking to nothing anyway if you liked it, thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.